All right, okay, so we want to start the out without conflict, yeah? The positive only out, okay? All right, so you're going to let him work at the end of the line, okay? All right, so reward him with that. Good. And have a little play with him. Don't ask for it back. Leave it, leave it, leave it for him. Approach him again, yeah? And have, yeah, have a little tug with him, yeah? Good. Too early, people try and out, yeah? Go back and play with him, go back and play with him, yeah? Let him like coming back to you, yeah? Let him go again, yeah? Stand there, let him come to you, good, yeah? Pull him towards you, yeah? This is the first thing. Does he want to return? Let go. Yeah. Move around. Move around. S circumference, yeah. yeah. Move around, yeah. Change to that position over there, Christian. You stay totally still, um, Emma. Ask for the dog to come to you. Yeah. Yeah. There we yeah. go. Yeah. Uh, Wonderful, yeah. We're not even looking for an out. We're not even looking for an out, yeah. All right, bring out the exchange. Uh, many times decoys are, are, are they're locked in decoy behavior. Um, I believe the best decoys are also the best helpers. And in this particular period, Christian must be a helper. He must help facilitate learning in a positive uh, and, and fine and way. And lots of praise from the handler for that, yeah? Okay, good. Give it back to him. Yeah. Nice tug. Let go. Let go. Let him come back to you now. Stand there. Calling to you. Yeah. Good lad. A lot more syrupy. Yeah. Okay. Let it go. All right. Yeah. 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 Right. Wonderful. Okay. Right, okay. So let's, again, we're gonna do the out and I'm gonna mark it for you this time, okay? Ask for the out. out. Create some more movement, more movement, more movement. Out. There we go. Now the interesting thing is how quickly you now start to reward him again, okay? Reward him again instantly. Good show. Good show. Yep. You stop. Yeah. Stay still. Just let him stay there. Let him come back to you. Yeah. Scoop down. Yeah. There. Yeah. Good yeah. stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Stay still. Let's get that out going again. Okay. Yeah. Asking for the out. 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 Good. One of the things about sort of canine psychology is people want to out the dog um, and the, the dog doesn't want to bring the item back because it knows what's coming because they've, play, they've got no engagement. There's no gain. There's no, um, in, there's no benefit in kind for the animal. What's in it for the dog? And yes, I need the item back. When you bring things back to me, we can play. And when we play, you get enjoyment out of it. But when I ask you for it, give it to me. Uh, so we can continue this cycle of fun. That's the first thing to establish. Good show. Straight back in. Good. So what we can now do is have an out and an in that is faster. So go and grab exactly the same type of tug. Very similar. Yep. Okay. So now it's going to be for a fast swap. Yep. All right. Ask, there. Pick up the other one right away. Yeah. Ask for the out. Yeah. Yep. Pick up the other one. Again, ask for the out. Yeah. There we go. All right. Ask for the out. Yeah. Now leave that one on the floor. Okay. And step back. Let him come to you and play. Yeah. Leave that on the floor. No, no, no. No, no. Pull him back. Pick up this one. Yep. Yeah. Good. Leave that. You're not going to reward him spitting it out. Yeah. That's it. 
Now stop. Also the outs. Also the out. Hey! Out without conflict. Leave that. Also the out. Out. Way! Now let's go back to back on the outs now, okay? All right? Okay. Right, so you're now going to out, throw it to him, pick up another one, out, throw it to him, and you're going to cycle it, yeah? All right. Leave it. Out. Yeah. 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 Pick it up. Faster. Out. Yeah. Pick it up. Out. Good. Good. Pick it up. Yeah. All right, okay. Out. Now, leave it. Just after the out. out. Hey, yeah. pull him back. Pull him back. I think, um, you know, we have these discussions about positive uh, only trainers, balanced trainers, uh, those that are classed as uh, just compulsion based. Um, I think that for the positive only trainer um, that hasn't um, understood the values of compulsion um, and, and the values of, 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 of you know, um, discipline. Um, for example, this is fun. This is uh, great for the dog. But you can understand in this bribery um, profile, um, if you have no other item, um, how do you get the dog to give you something back? And then we can talk about a, a child's toy, um, you know, a, a shoe. Uh, it could be an umbrella. Um, so I think that for me, it is really important that when this process isn't effective, we can progressively move on to uh, balancing the equation when we have non-compliance. Right, so there is another option to out with food. Um, everything has pros and cons, right? So let's, let's just do that. Let's take a, yeah. Again, you can back tie your dog for this if you haven't got enough. So let the dog, you stay totally still as a handler. Yeah, all right. So let him have it. Yeah, let him have it. Pull him back. Yeah, there we go. Load up food again. All right. So these are sort of out without conflict, right? Okay. Yeah. Early on. Yep. Yeah. Nice possession. Now leave that toy. Leave it. Tell him out. Out. Yeah. Okay. Out. Yeah. <coughs> and again. Now, if somebody watching this says, well, this is not a good idea because it means that anyone with food can out the dog. I, I second your concern on that, but we're just going through all the options out there. Ask, asking for the out. Uh, good lad. The whole concept of bribery for me, um, because you know my speciality is personal protection, is always a concern. But you need to separate the end result um, from the process of learning um, and you know making things fun for an animal uh, rewarding the behaviors you want gives a potentially higher uh, probability of them offering that behavior willingly and as they mature you fade such practices you certainly don't want to be using food as an out we have the out we have the martin system here um, we're going to use tone vibrate uh, low stimulus um, we're going to fit this around the dog's uh, neck. Um, and the handler has got the finger kick. Um, so fit it nice. So for me, I think a combination of, of both options. With the food, there's a risk that the animal will take food from strangers. With the switching of um, the uh, toys. What happens when you don't have the toy? Um, but for the absolute out, we're gonna work on that now, okay? So, uh, approach. Good. All right. So, as the handler, you're going to ask for the outs, okay? And as you ask for the outs, you have a one second rule. Doesn't come, a little bit of compulsion, yep. Yeah? All right, as he lets go of it, then you really praise the animal, right? I'm okay, go for the let go. All right, there we go. Bravo.
Good. So he just outed that by himself, right? So the pre-work might be a factor there. The difference now is trying to out the animal. And at the moment, do not stim until I ask you to, right? So now during um, what we class as conflict, because all the time that the conflict isn't engaged, it's easy for him to out, right? So take the engagement away. Take the engagement. Ask for the out. Ouse. All right. Ask for the out again. Ouse. So what are we having here? Self-rewarding, the expectation, etc. Right. So now what we want is stay engaged. Stay engaged. The absolute out. So we ask for the out. Ask for it. Now. And again. So what we can see, we're going to go up in inc increments. Again. Again. Take your hand off and we press it. Yeah. Again. Take your hand off. Yeah. And again. There. Good show. So we were on four. We're going to go down one again, okay? All right. Re-engage again. All right. Good. Nice tug, nice tug. Stay still. Ask for the out, handler. Stim. There. Bravo. There. Ask for the out. And again, stim. So we're, we're actually going to go up one more, okay? For this exercise. So up one more. All right? Good. So give him two seconds, okay? Ask him. There we go. But what I want you to now do is the second ouse before you stim. So ouse, two seconds, doesn't come out, ouse, then, so he knows what's coming next, okay? All right. Let him enjoy it. Ask for the house. Good lad. And was that with or without a stim? Wonderful. All right, so this one now, throw it in. Okay. And that's it. We're not going to try and out him. Uh, leave it. Go back and enjoy it with him. Go back. Yeah. There. So the finish is always still going to be the fun. Yeah. Let go. Yeah. Let him come back to you. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Respecting the handler, the absolute out. That's my uh, favorite. Um, you know, so that we can make sure that this dog, if it's making a mistake, it's grab, you know, a football in the park and is, a child is distressed. You can get um, the, the dog to out that, that particular item because it respects the handler. Um, we must be very careful on the amount of pressure we apply. Um, the dog must still enjoy engaging with the item. Um, and that's why you make sure that, you know, any type of work like this, you do it with due care and uh, due diligence um, so that you do not cause harm. Right through the process uh, of work that we're doing, you watch the uh, dog's uh, tail wagging. Um, and the animal is enjoying the exercise and the animal will get to play a lot more. Um, these are incredibly high drive dogs and manners maketh man. I remember my headmaster always used to say that. Manners maketh man. He must out. He must out. We have um, a standoff. I have my dog in a silent guard. Um, and I know there's a problem, there's an altercation. I don't know if this angle is, is totally great. Um, we have cashiers here and we're talking, we shake hands, not a problem, flags, not an issue, you alright, how are you doing, you good, good, good. yeah, you alright mate, yeah, how are you doing, good, you alright mate, as you can see the blade is starting to come out, I haven't seen, system a high value reward roadie
Duck burgers. I keep telling you guys over and over again, please try it. They even have a range of uh, products for, uh, you know, the pancreas, uh, a fantastic lineup from Duck. And of course, the can hydroxy gag, the finest of German engineering. You really, really need to try some of these products. Um, Belcando, uh, you know, from the beginning, start the right way. Visit the Pooch DVD website for support. <coughs>